What's up? Front row, I love it. This is beautiful. I don't know how long you were going to do it for, but I loved it. I wasn't going to interrupt it. I'm trying to grow up as a person. I'm trying to be more mature. Uh, it's not going well. Because uh, my favorite thing to do in the world is to go into Starbucks and order a drink. Doesn't matter what I order. I'm like, yeah, I'll take a large coffee. They're like, what's your name? I'm like, Panice. <laughs> and you can't smile. Because if you smile, they laugh with you. It's like a fun thing. If you're like, Panice, ha ha. They're like, ha ha. I'm like, you have to look like kind of scary. You're like, my name's Panice. <laughs> and I'm 6'7", like I'm a giant. So when I get close, it gets intense, you know, and I just stare at him. And he's like, how do you spell that, Panice? I'm like, you know how to spell it. <laughs> and the thing I've learned about human nature is people will do what they're told if they get to pass their problems downstream, you know what I mean? That guy just has to write it. <laughs> the next guy is the poor bastard that has to say it out loud. And for me, it's the greatest thing in the world. Nothing's better. Because that guy gets a little cocky. The guy at Starbucks that gets to hand everything out, he gets an ego. He's like, yeah, I got a mochiato for Tina. Where's Tina? Tina's like, oh my God. He's like, yeah, enjoy that. It's for you. <laughs> and I know my drink's coming. I get so excited that my pupils dilate. I look insane. Because when I get excited, I sweat and my pupils dilate. So I'm just in the back of Starbucks, just like. <laughs> and finally the cup gets there. He's like, yeah, I got a large coffee for, uh... <laughs> and the other dude's just like. And then I get really close. I'm just like, <laughs> say it. And he will, the dude will say it out loud and that's why I believe in people. That's why I believe in human nature. Cause the things, this story is a happy ending. The things that we think divide us don't, you know, whether it's your nationality, your race, your, your religion, money, nothing matters. In that moment, every man is one. When he says that out loud, it's the greatest moment. Like everyone's heart starts beating faster because men are dumb and it's great. And I love it, right? The, every dude in there is like a deer at a stream. He's like, penis? Every dude just like. <laughs> Someone just said it. Like an 80 year old man chest bumps me, little kids high five me, it's incredible. And that's what I live for and that's why I know I'm never gonna really mature as a person. I don't have a lot of time. I'm gonna play you guys some music. Do you guys like music? <laughs> nice. What's up bud? I like that. Does this work? <laughs> By the way, I used to play piano as a kid, but I didn't have any friends. I'd, I'd be in these huge recitals because I was playing like Mozart as a little kid, you know, and I never had any friends. So I would always like look over to an invisible person. I'd be like, <laughs> you can be my actual friend today. Do you want to touch fingers like that painting? Uh, it's hard for men now. It's hard being in relationships. Like you try to do the right thing, you know, and they're like, stop just having sex with me. Like, love me, you know, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna do that. And then you start loving them and being in a relationship. And I don't think women realize how hard it is for men. So I wrote a, uh, a song called Every Relationship from a Man's Point of View. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you mad? What did I do? Why won't you talk to me? We just woke up. I can't think of anything I could have done. Did you have another bad dream about me? You had a dream I cheated on you. And now you're mad in real life. Well, guess what? I had a dream I was getting raped by a clown. I'm not mad at clowns Cause I know it was just a dream If you stay mad, that means you're crazy Thank you <laughs> Women are great in crisis You ever notice that? You ever watch uh, Naked and Afraid? Oh, you haven't? Oh, it's actually this show um, 
where they drop off uh, uh, two people, a man and a woman, they're both naked and they're afraid. And they have to survive in this awful situation. And the woman always, always does better. The dude's always like, yeah, I'm a Marine, I kick ass. And the girl's like, you know, I'm trying to like experience myself and find, you know, figure out who I am. I, of course, have survival skills. They drop them off, dude's done after two days, girl's catching fish, killing it, right? Because women are good in crisis. But with the lack of crisis, you're crazy, right? <laughs> That's why in modern world, dudes are so much more chill. Because we're just good at nothing, like just chill. We can move stuff. That's why women like tall guys. They're like, the light bulb? All right, good. But, um, but women still think life's like that. So they have a look called soap opera music eyes. It's not all the time. It's 5% of their life. It's just a dice roll. This music will randomly play in your girl's head for no reason. And a young man makes the mistake of thinking he did something wrong, like cause and effect but that's in her head. She's looking for problems, right? <laughs> like your girl's like, are you hungry? You're like, no. She's like, where did you eat? <laughs> I'm like, I ate at Wendy's. She's like, Wendy's. <laughs> Who the hell is Wendy? <laughs> this is what's in a man's head from birth until death. <laughs> My name's Panice. All right, guys, I'm Owen Benjamin. I love you.